The person that you just saw is a stroke survivor who underwent a neurosurgical procedure known as a hemicraniectomy. These can be done for several different reasons, but this is how we do it. Now, in some circumstances, the brain might suffer a pathology that would cause it to swell. And because the skull is a closed system, it doesn't allow for the brain to really swell comfortably. And so if swelling happens, then the brain is going to be compressed against the skull itself, and it's going to create a lot of problems for local structures and critical areas of the brain. So as neurosurgeons, we have to give the brain more space to be able to swell. And the way that this is done is by creating what we call a question mark incision. We create a big incision that goes down the back and down to the side like this in front of the ear. And when we do that, we turn the scalp forward. After that, we take something called a perforator and we drill holes in certain parts of the skull in order to allow us to create a window to be able to visualize the brain. And once that window is made, we can then remove that portion of the skull. And you can see that there's going to be this big area here, which allows the brain to be able to expand as much as it wants. And once that's done, we actually leave this part of the bone completely off and we close the skin back. Naturally, that's going to create a skull defect, which looks like this. And then once the brain has taken its time to expand and it has healed, we then can come back to the operating room and then we take either the original piece of skull or we take a prosthetic uh, piece of skull and then we actually end up putting it back in a procedure that we call a cranioplasty. And once the process is done, the skull will go back to looking the way that it did originally before surgery.